I absolutely love living in Port St. Lucie, but today we're gonna discuss the five things I would change if I could. Jonathan B.J. Hayes, local realtor in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you once again for tuning into the home of Port St. Lucie Real Estate. As always, please subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like the videos, and ring ring that bell so you know the next time I release a new video. So this week we are going to discuss, yes, we have to have this, the five worst things about Port St. Lucie. Now, I've been accused, can you believe this, of being a Port St. Lucie homer. Yes, I love Port St. Lucie. I live here. Personally, it's the most comfortable place I've ever lived in in my life. So I love it. But there are some things that I would say need to change. Okay, like any other city, no matter where you go, nowhere is perfect. So number one, we're going to start on the list. Property taxes. So Port St. Lucie has the highest property tax per mill average in the whole state of Port of Florida. So our property taxes in Port St. Lucie are actually higher than Miami and Fort Lauderdale. How could that be? I don't know. I'm not a tax expert, but yes, our taxes are high. If you're moving here and you're going to buy a new house, you're looking at taxes of somewhere north of $5,000. So on average, average home homeowners taxes on a house is about $5,000. Now, take into account that our median house price is still $144,000 less than you're going to pay in Miami. Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach. So the tax situation, it is an issue. Number two, Port St. Lucie doesn't have a downtown. So the fact that we don't have a downtown area that's dedicated for downtown, that means we don't have a place for entertainment. So if you're looking to go fine dining, if you're looking to go bar and club hopping, if you're looking to go salsa dancing, unfortunately, there's very few places here. So you would have to get in your car, drive south 45 minutes to West Palm Beach, and that would be your closest destination to do so. Number three, Port St. Lucie has beaches, but we have no direct access to the beach. So if you're looking to go to the beach, you either have to go to Jensen Beach to get to the beach or you go to Fort Pierce. Either way, you're looking about a at about a 25 minute car ride. All that could be averted. We have plenty enough people here now living in Port St. Lucie that they could build a bridge and make a way for us to go from Port St. Lucie straight to the beach. Number four. There's not many good paying jobs here in Port St. Lucie. Outside of the, med the medical field, like if you're a nurse, a doctor, anything in medicine, you're, you're good. You're straight. Um, Port St. Lucie has three hospitals. So you're good on, on from that side of things. But if you're just a regular professional worker, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of good paying jobs right here in Port St. Lucie. What I can tell you is the people that I know, if you're fortunate enough, you can drive down the road 10 minutes. Stewart has some decent paying jobs, but most people end up driving to West Palm Beach, which will take you about 45 minutes to get downtown from Port St. Lucie, and that's where they end up working. The good news is this. Port St. Lucie has had so much growth over the last five years. It's gotten, gotten much more diverse and younger. So now we're starting to suck away some of those businesses from Miami and Fort Lauderdale are slowly starting to creep up here. So that's a good thing. 
Lastly, number five, Port St. Lucie has very, very limited rental property. So Port St. Lucie is the home of the single family home on a quarter acre lot. That's great. But what's been neglected is, hey, the people that want to come here and try it out without actually buying a home. So with the explosion of younger people coming here and more diversity, finally, builders are starting to build apartment buildings. They're starting to build some more condos and townhouses also. So now we will have some options going forward of, hey, man, you can rent, try it out. And then if you like it, call Jonathan and he'll find you a house, new construction or something resale. There you have it. The five worst things about Port St. Lucie. Again, I personally love Port St. Lucie. Yes, I live, I play, I work here. If you have any questions, just give me a shout, give me a holler. Once again, this is Jonathan BJ Hayes. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Feel free to shout me out. Also, the information is below. Remember, Ring the notification bell so you know next time I post a video. Subscribe to the channel and share this with someone else. Till we meet again, everybody stay safe and be blessed.